cool technology. We were over at Arm. Yes. And yes. Uh, they were talking about FinFET. FinFET, right. right? Now, is there anyone else that uh, you think that would? I think I think we should move from the, the digital world okay. to, to maybe more of the analog power management. Uh -huh. And that leads in a couple directions, but one that seems uh, foremost is uh, perhaps. Uh, the true gentleman circuits. Said, yes, true circuits. Maybe true circuits. Stephen Maniatis, right here. See how natural that was, Stephen? How are you, Sean? All right. Nice to see you, John. How are Good you? seeing you. So uh, we're, we're talking to, with uh, a few of uh, TSMC's uh, partners here um, about some of the 20 nanometer uh, process, but also 28 nanometer. And you're already in production with that. Is that right? Yes. Can you talk a little bit about that? And you had another question? Uh, just, uh, you know, the, the analog side, the power management, right. there's still plenty of issues going on there. What's, uh, what's up even at 28? Sure. Sure. So uh, for those that... Uh, don't know a lot about True Circuits. We're an analog IP company, and as you know, our focus has always been in timing IP. So phase lock loops, delay lock loops, related uh, uh, timing circuits. Um, as we do with, with every node, we usually get to the, the new and the more challenging node fairly quickly. You mentioned 20 nanometer. We're currently working uh, from an R&D perspective on 20 nanometer, uh, and that is a, a real point of leverage with all the work that we did at 28 nanometer. So with 28 nanometer, we completed uh, what we would call comprehensive test chips that include all of our standard IP design types in both uh, global foundry processes as well as uh, both, uh, or all three, TSMC 28 nanometer processes. So that includes 28 HP, HPM, and HPL. The, power, the low power, the high, power, high performance. Oh, so basically to your question about power management and all, we're offering IP that has a lot of power aware circuitry in it but also uh, optimize in particular for the, the, the LP and the, uh, uh, and the HPL process for those customers that want to take advantage of, of the lower power process. And basically all of the IP that we develop um, uh, can be implemented um, in very efficient ways in, in the fact that our IP is highly programmable. So you can take the circuits that we develop and implement them as hard macros, and depending on how you program them, how fast that you run the VCO and other features and functionalities within the IP, you can get a lower power uh, operation of the IP. And for a, a, a clocking function like a PLL, for example, you know, to be able to idle that down when it's not needed or switch it off or put it in a bypass mode, all of those uh, uh, features are really valuable in a, a power management state, you know, for a processor or whatever, whatever else. So we try to design a lot of that feature and functionality into our IP. And as I said, right now our focus is on 20 nanometer development. Uh, we'll have test chips coming out early next year. We'll do, go through a very comprehensive silicon validation in our lab, produce silicon reports, go through IP9000 qualification. Oh, 9000. Let's, let's not even go there. Yeah. What, what, are, what are the big markets? Is, is your market changing at all as you're going to lower nodes? So uh, it's a good question. I mean, basically, these, uh, these uh, smaller line widths, these, these lower nodes, you know, 28 nanometer now is sort of the mainstream that's now ramping into production. Uh, it's a very, it's a complex process. Um, there's a lot more considerations in how to design and implement in the process. Uh, so companies that are doing them are much more careful about what they're doing, how they're doing it, when they're doing it. Uh, working more collaboratively with IP partners like True Circuits as well as the, the foundries like TSMC. So it's a much more collaborative process and we heard presentations earlier today that talked about how important that is. And what it basically means is that whether you're in a consumer product where low power might be important or you're in a wireline communications router or something that needs to be very, very high performance and high frequency, um, you know, our goal is to provide the kind of IP that our customers need that are optimized for low power, high performance, um, or just the kind of functionality and flexibility that some products need. Great. Interesting. And, uh, and as we all know, collaboration is very important, very key for TSMC, but also True Circuits and ChipEstimate.com. I just want to uh, sure. let our audience know that you can find the uh, full IP catalog, True Circuits on ChipEstimate.com, very quick and easy. Um, you, designers go into uh, ChipEstimate.com searching for DLLs or PLLs from True Circuits, and they can start their uh, chip design process earlier because they've made an early decision. So, really cool stuff. Yes. Thanks, nice. Steve. Excellent. All right. Thanks, Sean. All right, nice man. Steve. You too. Hey. Yes. You know, I have a, one thing. You know, some people say that I have a great imagination. Oh, really? Why don't we go to imagination? <laughs> Why don't we ask? We'll ask Why Dave. We ask? Let's see. Yeah.